Let's go get some food. Best place around here is Publix. So we're here. Just gotta get some parking. Usually parking's pretty easy here. Typically. See how much I weigh. I lost a lot of weight since I've been on this diet. At the beginning of the year I was 261 pounds. Now I'm
Have a good one. Always walk the cart back in and well I get extra steps so I'm at 1,000 or is that no 965 steps right now all right so let's walk it back in the cart see how many more steps I can get oh, we're at 965 right now. let's see what we can get Now my watch is reading 1,036. So from 965 to 1,036. Not bad. So I burned a few more calories just from taking the time to put my cart back. Don't be ignorant, put your cart back. If you take it from there and you use it, just, just bring it back, no, don't be ignorant. I mean, I understand there are certain, certain situations, if it's raining or something like that, I mean, that's kind of excusable. Or if you got, like if you're at Home Depot and you use one of their carts and you got stuff hanging out of the back of your vehicle and you can't, you know, leave your vehicle because you're afraid that someone's going to break into it because you can't properly lock your doors or your back window because it's open. I, I get it. I totally get it. You know? But, I mean, a beautiful sunny day like this, don't be lazy. Just put the cart back. It's, it's helping you and it's helping them. It's a win-win situation. Okay, that's enough of me venting. <laughs> All right, so back to the house to fill up the fridge. All right, so we're back at the house. It's time to unload all our goodies. stuff for the fridge but back here make some room for them back here yeah, good. perfect So I usually do this because this was the last thing I bought that goes in front of all the other food. So that way I know what's fresh and what isn't. So this I have to eat next before that. Alright. Should probably take some of this plastic off while I'm at it. Crap. Wow, that's some pretty strong stuff. They don't want you taking that off.
I can't imagine what I would put in there. What do you put, eggs in there? You just line them up? I mean, I guess you could put a whole bunch of eggs in there. I just don't understand. How do you get this? You're gonna have to get the whole thing out. I just don't get it. I guess it's an egg holder. I'll have to get some eggs to put in there. Cause I, I mean, yeah, you could put an egg, like bloop, right in there. Other than that, I mean, what else would they be for? Does it hold a dozen? Does it hold a baker's dozen? I guess we'll never know. I'll have to try it out. Yeah. Okay, so it's starting to look like we got some more stuff in there now. Stuff I could put in there. Barbecue sauce. I'll tell you what. This barbecue sauce on chicken and steak. I don't care what you put this on. It tastes amazing. You need to try it. 